Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into Jim Beam Single Barrel. They hiked up the proof a little bit. Let's see if the flavor went along with it. And this is Jim Beam Single Barrel. So they used to have like a 90 proof version a little while back recently i think in 2021 or 2020 they moved it over to 108 proof so these are obviously jim beam single barrels they're bourbons they do not have a specific mash bill on the website so i wasn't able to find out a mash bill but essentially it's jim beam at 108 proof from a specific single barrel these single barrels may vary my specific barrel number is JB00031131. And these are unfiltered for full flavor. So, and this is like $30, or I got it for like $30. Uh, I think they're around 30 to 35. So, fantastic, fantastic proof and price point. Let's see if the flavor is there. And with a semi stale uncorking, because, well, the mic wasn't plugged in. It is what it is. Let's get into this. So upset, so upset, so upset. But essentially this bottle, it's just Jim Beam juice, single barrel at 108 proof. And it's kind of budget. It's very similar. This reminds me so much of what they did with the old Grand Dev 114. So I'm expecting something to be a little bit more youthful but also still just like that typical Jim Beam nuttiness. But let's go ahead and get on the nose. Getting some nuts for sure. Little bit of like a cherry. Definitely oh, some so much stale peanuts. Some nice caramel vanilla is a little bit of like an astringent oak. There's a slightly floral aspect in there as well. There's a nice like red fruit and citrus note in there. Definitely getting a lot of like cherries, a little bit of like red apple in there, maybe a little bit of an apricot as well. But overall, it's mostly that like, it's like red fruits, that Jim Beam nuttiness, like the nuttiness is severe. It's, it's in everything, or it's not overwhelmingly nutty per se. It's just, it's nutty you're gonna get nuttiness on there. It's like a stale peanut nuttiness, and then red fruit, caramels, vanillas, and then a nice layer of oak. And then on like the top of it, there's just a slight floral aspect going on. I don't quite have like what specific floral note, but it's slightly floral, which is weird because I don't typically get floral on Jim Beam stuff, but I'm getting in here. I don't know, maybe I just don't drink enough Jim Beam stuff, but I'm very surprised that I'm getting a slightly floral note. It's not very floral, but there's a little hint of floralness going on in there. Ooh, and so that floral note, the cherry red fruit, and that like stale peanut go together so well on the nose that it's like, it's very inviting. Not getting a lot of youthful grainy notes in there or anything like that. It's not overly ethanol-y, so I'm interested. Let's go ahead and get on the palate. As soon as you sip it, you get a slight tinge of like grainy ethanol, and then it flows into this nice like chocolatey caramel nugget nuttiness kind of like a snickers bar almost um but if you added like a boatload of peanuts into there there's so much caramel peanut nugget nice like chocolate like layering like a milk chocolate layering and then a cherry and it finishes slightly like into like a stale peanut with nuttiness yeah so much it's so much stale peanut and nuttiness on the finish and it finishes for a little bit of a while. And then right at the end, kind of gives you this little zinger of cherry for me. <clears throat> Overall, really good. The only negative side I'm getting on this is that very like astringent grainy ethanol note as soon as I take a sip and then it goes away as soon as I acknowledge it. And then it fades into this nice peanut butter, chocolate, slightly like 
cherry like honestly the main fruit i'm getting on this i'm still getting a little bit of red apples but the main fruit is just that cherry it's so much bright cherry stale peanut a little bit of chocolateness a little bit of like a oakiness and then caramel caramel peanuts and cherries this reminds me so much of old granddad 114 but like a better version of it it's bringing that same like peanut caramel chocolate like oakiness that you get off of old granddad 114 but it's also bringing in some nice like red fruits and a little bit less of like a grainy ethanol burn so honestly i think it's worth it i like it i like it a lot uh overall at $30, I'm going to have to say it's a solid B+. Plus. I like it. I think it's a really good value at $30. Um, at $35, I'm going to say maybe a B. $35, $40. If you can find it for like sub $40, I think it's a solid B. I think it's really, really good Jim Beam juice. Uh, this is like Jim Beam done right. And this is a great buy at sub $40. I like it. I'd like to see other barrels, other single barrels to see if you can maybe get some more fruit in there. Because on this specific one, <clears throat> I was getting a little bit more fruit than I did on like the old granddad 114, the Knob Creek nine year, um, the Knob Creek nine year, just small batch, not single barrel. But like I wasn't really getting a lot of ethanol burn. Um, there was that slight tinge that I got on the beginning of the palette, but overall it went together really well. It reminds me so much of Old Granddad 114 because it's like Old Granddad 114. The reason I like it is because you don't have to hunt for the flavors. The flavors that are there are there. It's not the most balanced whiskey per se, but like you don't have to hunt for flavors and what you see is what you get. This is kind of like that, but it's a better blend of it per se. Like the flavors go together a little bit better on this one and it's a little bit lower of an alcohol. Um, percentage so it's not like overwhelming i think this is a great drinking proof great simple flavors easy solid b i'm a really big fan of this and honestly this is probably going to be staying in my bar moving forward that's going to be a wrap for this video please do us a favor like comment subscribe let us know what you guys thought about this bottle let us know what you guys thought about our review let us know if you guys have any other jim bean bottles that we need to check out that we haven't done i've done a lot of the knob creek list I've done now this Jim Beam, Old Granddad 114. What else am I missing that I should check out? Let us know in the comments down below. Also check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. The link for that is down there below. We appreciate y'all so much for your support. Cheers. We'll see you later.